So in Smash 4, Mario's double jump from the ledge allows him to land perfectly on a battlefield platform. But this leaves him vulnerable for the 25 frames that he's airborne and the 2 frames of soft landing lag. If you air dodge, Mario is mostly invincible during his jump, but he lands with a nasty 21 frames of air dodge landing lag. However, if you time everything perfectly, Mario can cancel the air dodge landing lag by A landing, or auto cancelling, a down air, leaving him with only the soft landing lag of 2 frames. So altogether Mario is vulnerable for only 13 frames, 2 frames releasing and holding forward from the ledge, 2 frames of air dodge startup, 5 frames of air dodge cooldown, 1 frame during the dare animation, and 2 frames of landing lag plus the 1 frame before Mario's shield appears. Considering these vulnerability windows are widely spread out, and Mario is moving constantly, he is very safe performing this tactic. Let's take a look at the inputs. From the ledge, press back on the control stick. We'll call this frame 1. On frame 2, hold forward, and keep doing so until you land. On frame 3, input jump and air dodge simultaneously. Unless my capture card skipped frames, this would have to be the case, because the air dodge can be seen activated on frame 5, and it has two frames of startup. Right before you land on the platform, input a down air. You'll have a large window for this, due to buffering. Then, after soft landing lag, Mario will return to standing animation and shield on the next frame. If mastered, this tech is definitely a viable ledge getup option for Mario. It's almost similar to Fox's Invincible Waveland in Melee, although not quite so perfect.